Yeah, we're unmuting. We're recording. We're all good. Alrighty, guys. Big stretch. Stretch, 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 stretch. Yeah, ready again. Inhale. Breath hold. And birthday candle. Ready, inhale. Hold. And exhale. So open your eyes. Let's pray. Teach me your way, O oh Lord, and I might rely on your faithfulness. Give me an undivided heart, that I might fear your name. Amen. All righty, get out your reference booklets, guys. So we're in your reference booklets, and we are doing dilation. Go like this with your hands. Repeat after me. Say, to change in size, change in size. Just, multiply. just multiply. That's literally all we're doing. To change in size, change in size. Just, multiply. just multiply. All right, so what that means, we'll do just one together, and then I'm going to cut you loose, and we'll be done. So right here, something called a scale factor, that is the number used to enlarge or shrink things. If we dilate by K, you take your coordinates, X and Y, and all you do literally is you times by the scale factor. To change in size, you multiply. On that note, I'd like you to put this little note up here. If your K factor is bigger than 1, and if your K factor is less than 1, I want you to have a short discussion in your group. What do you think happens to the shape? And put that under the red highlighter. What happens to the shape if your scale factor is bigger than 1? versus smaller than one. Go, talk. Talk. What do you think or predict is going to happen? Okay. Maya, what do you think happens if your scale factor is bigger than one? Bigger, yes. We'll use the fancy word enlarge. Gets bigger, absolutely. All right, Adrian, what do you think happens when your scale factor is less than one? It shrinks. it shrinks, you bet. So look at what we are going to do here, folks. We are going to take this image on this right here, ABC. We're going to dilate it by two-thirds. So, Mr. DeSantis, are we shrinking or enlarging? Shrinking. Okay, so right here... Uh, at the top of the paper, just write, I'm going to shrink it. It's helpful to predict what you're going to do before you do it. So we have our coordinates, but I'd like, like you to put 6 and 12. You need a little bit of workspace, and you do not get to touch calculators, kiddos. I want you to learn to do this by hand. We are dilating by two-thirds. So next to all of these, you're going to do times two-thirds. And you're going to avoid that panic button that says, oh, no, fractions. With your finger, go like this. Arrow in, arrow out. It's not more complicated than this. I'm going to do the top row, and then I'm going to cut you loose for about 20 seconds. Watch. Arrow in. Answer my question. Three goes in to six. Twice. How many times? Okay, arrow out. Little baby two. Two times two is? Congratulations. Yay, you can multiply by fractions. Let's do it again. Arrow in, 3 goes into 12. How many times? Three. Out loud, kiddos. Try it again. 3 goes into 12. Four. Yep. Okay, we bring it around. Little baby 4. 4 times 2 is? 8. eight. 
All righty, I'm freezing. You're doing the rest on your own. Go, arrow in, arrow out. down below and check you good okay we're gonna graph and something magical happens with this absolutely magical let's see what am I doing I am cutting this here going over here uh, current page start graphing and we're gonna call that a prime that means a after the motion Now I'm going to pose a question. You're going to talk about it with your neighbors. Obviously, we've shrunk. Now, there's something from the first semester in play here. There is a relationship between these two images from the first semester. Have a short discussion. What do you think is going on here? We had, we had a name for it. Go. First semester. What does this remind you of? Could be several words. I heard one word over here. What does it remind you of? Ratios. We have some ratios in there somewhere. You're right. What else does it remind you of? Same shape, but different size. size. Wow, that was slang for what word? Same shape, different size. Same shape, different size. Wow, look what happens in three months. Kiddos, what does that symbol mean? Starts with an S. Similar. Okay, out loud, all together, let's follow Mr. DeLong's, what is it? Similar. Similar, same shape, different size, which means these guys are similar. They have congruent angles, ratios which are equal, which means if I did one of these numbers to you that this was 50 degrees and I asked you what is this, how many degrees would that be? 50. And then if I did this to you and I said this, was 12 inches long and I asked you what this is, you would use the whole ratios equal thing to solve, cross multiply solve. Dilation creates similar shapes, always. Yes, sir? This way I'm scared. You should be, yes. <laughs> All right, challenge yourself. You have 40 minutes to finish. Um, there's a couple trickier problems I will happily help you with towards the back, but challenge yourself not to touch your calculators. All right, go. Shows the, the piece which is one one half inch across. The original size of the pizza was 16 inches across. What is the scale factor used to create this? Okay, Junio, real quick. Do we have to worry about units? No. No, why? Because we're using inches. For both. Okay, so for the first good news is, is, is we don't have to mess with units. So yay for that. All right, Junio, are we trying to find the scale factor of, go like this, real life down to replica, or are we going from replica up to real life? What is the... Look logically, the question is, are we trying to find the scale factor used to go from the real pizza down to the replica, or what is the replica compared to the real pizza? Read, look, at the, look at the orange. How is that phrased? Yeah, that's a really important question, how it's phrased. Exactly. Yeah, what's the scale factor used to create is the key word. So we're going to go like this. We're going to go from the real pizza to the replica. You okay with what we're doing so far? 
You good so far? All right. Mr. DeSantis, the real pizza diameter is what? 16. 16 what? Yeah, inches. And the replica is what again, Mr. DeSantis? Uh, it's one and a half inches. One and a half inches. So to change in size, just multiply. multiply. So it basically, we don't have to worry about units. So we don't have to mess with that. So we're saying 16 times some sort of number is one and a half. You okay so far? Great. If we're going to deal with fractions, it's best to get that one and a half into a, a, an improper fraction. So join the party here, Aiden. One and a half would be what improper fraction? Where'd you get three over two from? Uh, one goes into uh, two twice, and then the extra half goes into the third. Right. Okay, so it's going to be 16 times something is three over two. You okay so far? Got it. Mr. DeSantis, what are we dividing by? We, we, we want to get the yellow by itself. So what do we divide by? Two. Wow, let's try that again. I want to get rid of the 16 completely. Oh. I want the something to be by itself, right? That's the whole point. Would it be helpful if I just, if I put an X there? So yeah. you think of it like algebra? Good. How do we get rid of the 16? Divide. Let's try that again. That's, that's multiply. We so we divide. Yes. We're dividing by 16. And you're like, good night. What do I do with the stuff on the right? So let's recap our fourth grade math. So in the margin, we have 3 over 2 divided by 16, which is basically over 1. All righty. Sanvi, are you joining the party here? Got it. Sanvi, dividing by 16 over the 1 is same as multiplying by what? what the reciprocal, which would be what, ma'am? Yes. Courtney, are you tracking with us? Or not? You're doing something else? Okay. So the reciprocal would be like this. Okay. When I want to multiply that, Aiden, what do I do now? There's no cross multiplication there. Straight across. So straight across, I get what? 3 over 32. Guess what? That's my scale factor. 3 30 seconds is the scale factor used to shrink the pizza from real life down. Now, the last problem is pretty much exactly the same thing, but it's the other way, and you have to deal with units. Like vert. Yes, you got units you have to deal with there. Yes. 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 I've like learned this a while ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, come give him an audience. Someone right in front of him so you know he's talking to someone. Okay, right. he's talking to me. Okay, show us what you're doing. So y'all got that one problem where you got to multiply 605. Right yep. Inches. Now that's feet. Oh, sorry. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let me show you the, the, the palette here. Okay. Um, you can pick up here. an eraser. There you go. Boom. Okay. Lovely. And if you want to switch colors, you know, some colors you can rock. Okay. You know that. Feet. So this is FT, feet. And we're trying to convert. Oh, that's just, whoa. Don't whoa. worry about it. I know. And now you All know right. my handwriting's messy. And then we got to convert it to uh, inches. Excuse. So we're going to times it by 12. And this is my little lovely box method. You make a box. You take, I'm trying to think, I'm going to redo that box. This is horrible. Um, I'm trying to think of the word. Like you take out the 600 and the you, you, 100. You break down its components, maybe? Yeah, break down the components. So since it's three digits. It's a three by two. It's a three by two. You would split your box into six. And you'd put your 600 here because you're like going to break down the components. Mm -hmm. But since there's a zero right here, you're going to put zero and then five. And then your 10 and your 2. And then you just multiply across. So this would become 6,000. Ooh. This would become 0. This would become 50. Uh, 1,000, 200, and 0, zero. and 10. And then you just add up everything. Okay, show us. All right. Can I scroll down them? Yeah, you can. There's a little hand. 
Down there at the bottom, see the hand? Little hand. Oh, yeah, Grab little. Me. No, that's a finger point, the hand. Hand grabs and scrolls. All right, so then you just add everything, 6,000, add 1,200, 50 and 10. 50 and 10. And you should get 7,260. That's a five there. Oh. Okay, your five looks like an eight. Oh, yeah, I'm a bad your 50, sorry. That's okay. I shouldn't criticize. You guys are doing that to me all the time. Fabulous. Yeah, so. I've only seen that a couple times. Anybody else learn that before? You did? Okay, where'd you where'd you learn that? It was in sixth grade. Sixth grade? Here at Valley? Uh, no. No. Interesting. Where'd you learn that? Public school. That's, really? that's private schools are slacking though. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. are. We need to teach that. I like that. Because it's Thank like you. I swear. I did either did it with Miss Gangle or you. No, not me. Okay. Because I've only seen it done a couple times. I honestly, I'm I'm very traditional, long hand, blah blah, carry the whatever. Because yeah, it takes way too much time to do all the. No, things, so. I love this. Okay, so just for giggles, I'm gonna do one more and like check. Yeah, you see, I do that, but I leave. I break up like it, see if it's like a twelve. I I just make it like a ten, and then. I you you break it down. Okay, so something like let's see, five five thousand three hundred and twenty one times. 13. Yeah. Okay, so let me let me just try this myself and then not that we need a calculator to figure stuff out, but we'll all do it myself. So I were four, four by two? Yeah. Four by two. Okay, so if one, two, three, four by two. And this is I'm gonna color code it so I can see it. That's gonna be five thousand and three hundred and twenty and a one, correct? Yeah. Good. Let me keep my digits correct. Uh, second oh. digit is green, so that's 10, and black is 3, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll take it from there. Ah, to just add the zero, so that's 50,000. And the zero, that's 3,000. And the zero, that's 210. That's uh, 15,000. So you just got to make sure you keep your commas in the right place. Uh, 960 and 3. So, yeah, just make sure I keep my commas in the right place to start with these guys. Oh, we just use box left to right. 1,500. Yeah, no, not box. Yeah, kind of. 3,000. 900. Nope, 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 shift, 900. I, I can see, I'm just, I'm trying to see where students would make mistakes. The shifting is gonna be tricky. And then we have a 10 and a three. Okay, so you have to watch the shifting. Do, 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 do. Three, seven, 11, six, nine. 69, 173, are you checking it for me? Okay, the original numbers, let's check this out. Uh, 5,321 times 13. Uh, 69,173. Oh, I need to teach that in my class. I need to teach that in my class. That is so cool. That is so cool. You can all go home and say, you taught the teacher, the teacher. You taught the teacher today. Fabulous job. All righty. Yeah, which one you at, dear? Are you on pizza? No. Okay, okay. Let me just hit this. Uh, read the instructions. I'm just trying to find the scale factor. Right. Are, are you on the top of the page or the bottom of the page? You don't, child. No, 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 no. Come here, come here, come here, come here. You show me something, I show you something. Yeah, I know. Stop your whining. Oh, whores. It's the other way around. Okay. Um, I'm how terrible. H o r r o r s does not work well behind a mask. Um, I apologize. Okay. Ready? Yes, ma'am. With, with that one. Okay. So now you look left to right. What are you multiplying by to get from here to here, here to here? Every single one of these, you multiply by the same thing. What is it? All of them. 
very careful. 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 Very Okay, that, that's going to help immensely. Okay. okay. Courtney, why don't you come up and you, you can do the. Um, oh, she did left. Okay. Santizo, come do the space needle problem, then you and Courtney can help each other. All right. Mr. DeSantis, read it out loud. Donovan, do you want to join us for the space needle? Okay. Um, the Lego company has created a Lego kit model with the space needle. Of the space needle, the Lego model is eight one fourth of an inch tall. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Which scale factor of the model to the actual Seattle Space Needle? Okay, so there are scale factor. Don, Donovan, just to clarify, are we going, are we asking from the scale factor from the model to the real or from the real down to the model? Okay, read the, read the question again. Okay, we're going from model to real. Keep, always keep that in mind. Okay, we're going from the Lego model to the real Space Needle. So our model is eight and one fourth inch, and our reel is six hundred and five feet. And we're asking this: eight and one fourth times something is six oh five feet. Okay, Donovan, tell me what is one thing we need to take care of before we do anything else? What's that? Okay, how are we how are we going to get that feet into inches, sir? Multiply by twelve. Multiply by twelve. So we're going to use. You can do whatever you want. You could either do six o five times twelve, but you're not using a calculator, or I'm going to redo Mr. DeSantis' box method here, just for giggles. That's six hundred. Are you done already? Okay, so that's six hundred. That's zero. That's five. That's one. That's two. All right, so 1 times 600 is 600, that's 0, that's 5, and that's 1,200, 0, 10. So we've got 1,200, cross that out, we have 600, we have 10, and we have 5. You okay with what I'm doing? I'm getting something different. I hit something wrong. Hang on. What is this? To do, to do, to 10, 1, 5. No, it's 12,000. It's yeah. 12. Sorry, not 12,000. Oh, oh, I know what I did. I forgot the zero. I forgot the zero. Yeah. For this new method, you got to make sure you break it down. Instead of one, that's zero. Take it back. Ah, uh, messed up. Let's do it again. Just for giggles. See, it's, it's important for me to make the same mistakes so I can do the same mistakes with my students. 600, this is double zero, this is five, this is 10, this is two. There it is. There it is. Okay, so this is 6,000. That's zeros. And this is 50. There we go. Yeah. There we go. This is still 1,200. That's 0, 0, and this is 10. There it is. Okay, so got to make sure we get that 10. So we've got 6,000 and 1,200 and 50 and 10. Donovan, are you tracking with this new fancy method with me? Yes? 6, 2, 7. And, or did you do it just longhand? And did you get the same thing? Okay. So we have here, we're going to change this into a mixed number. So, Donovan, four times eight? 32 plus one? 
So I have 33 over 4 times something equals 7260. Okay, Mr. DeSantis, now what? This is how I did it. I put seven two or seven thousand two hundred sixty over one. Mm -hmm. And then, but I swapped them. So yeah, multiply. we're we're multiplying. We're basically yeah multiplying by the reciprocal. You're right about that. So these cancel here. So now we're reducing thirty three by seventy two six zero. Now there's only two numbers that go into thirty three. So that limits us. What is it? 11 and? Okay, so we're obviously not going to do 11. We're going to do 3, right? Okay, so I'm going to come over here. 3 goes into 33 11 times. And I'm going to do 7260 divided by 3 here in the margin, longhand. Uh, 3 goes in there twice. 6, 12, 4, 2, Zero. Twenty four, twenty zero. Oh, we can use calculator on this one. I know. I'm, tr I'm trying to teach you guys not to cheat. Come on. Come on. You can do it. All right. So I'm going to go two, four, two, zero divided by eleven. That's twice. 22, 22, looky there, mom, no hands, two and a zero. So we have here two, two, zero times four. That's zero, eight, eight. Yeah, so the space needle is 880 times bigger than the Lego model. Wow. Yeah, that is a wow. Someone else did the math to make it to go the other way. Mm -hmm. oh, so